Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to the Couch Quest playthrough of Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. So, when we last left off, we had finished doing all the tasks that are currently to do on Dantooine, the place where the Jedi Enclave is. We found a star map, and now we're going to traipse through the galaxy looking for other pieces to complete this star map so we can find the Star Forge, the source of the Sith Empire's power. Mm, excuse me. So let's take a look at key old galaxy map here. So Dantooine is where we currently are. Manan, Tatooine, Korriban, Kashyyyk. But we are actually going to take advantage of the fact that this version of the game came bundled with the Yavin DLC. So we're going to go here. This is like the best trade spot in the game. And we're going to sell off a bunch of our old gear. All right, and we're going to be some wonkiness because we're cutting to cutscenes and whatnot. So if the recording looks weird, I apologize, but it hopefully will go without a hitch. And away we go. So that's two planets down. And this is, I believe, episode 12. So yeah, we're getting there. I have no idea how many episodes it's going to take to finish this series, but eh, who knows? Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I really, really hope you are. Such a long-running series. And there might be periods I take a break from it and do something else on Fridays. So, I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling and what I want to do. Ooh, mysterious story cutscene. It's Darth Unterweit. Lord Malak, the Star Forge is operating at 200% capacity, far beyond our expectations. I am more interested in the young Jedi Mastala and her battle meditation. Have you learned how she escaped the destruction of Taris? She was aided by Ka Thonasi, a decorated war hero of the Republic and a legendary soldier. During the Mandalore Wars, he was honored many times for his bravery. You know this man? Yes, Lord Malak. He served under me when I still followed the Republic. You could say I was his mentor. Interesting. How did you acquire this information, Admiral? An eyewitness, Lord Malak. Hello. Kalo Nord, a bounty hunter, was there when Bastila and Karth escaped the planet. Apparently, they left him for dead. A Jedi and a war hero. It's a wonder you survived the encounter. I am hard to kill, Lord Malak. Kalo has agreed to help us capture the young Bastila for a very hefty fee, of course. But I assure you, he is well worth the price. His reputation as a bounty hunter is well earned. Her companions are nothing to me, Kalo. But I desire the young Jedi taken alive, if at all possible. Lord Malak, forgive me. There is something else. May we have a private audience away from the ears of the common soldiers? I trust you are not wasting my time, Admiral Karen. I promise you will be very interested in what Kalo has to tell you about Bastila's other companions, Lord Malak. Dun dun dun. Welcome to Yavin. We're thousands of years from now on Yavin's fourth planet. There will be a Jedi, or not Jedi, a rebel base. The rebel base from the original Star Wars film. As you know, you gotta have these little homages and touches to the original series to kind of have that connection. Knights of the Old Republic can be a bit removed sometimes from its source material because it's kind of doing its own thing which is ultimately good but you now every now and again it's just all right every now and again it just feels very different from standard star wars hey buddy i was checking our supplies in the cargo hold and something's not right not right well, what do you mean someone's been into the emergency stash of food mission and i asked but nobody knows anything about it you might want to check our food stores next time you're in the cargo hold. All right, we'll do. <laughs> Let's see, cargo hold is here. Strangely, the food storage seems to have been disturbed recently. No one in the party could have done this, so there must have been some other explanation. Examine the supplies more closely. 
There are no half eaten or torn packages to indicate the theft was from pests or vermin. Looks more like some unknown person has been conducting clandestine raids on your stores. Whoever the thief is, they've managed to avoid detection by you or your companions so far. Maybe a thorough search of the ship will reveal the stowaway. Okay. Let's have a look, see then. Actually, uh, since we're wandering about anyway, you think you hear the soft patter of footsteps behind you when you stop and disappear. Yeah, that's right, you gotta wander around near the supply thing. <laughs> you stop to listen, they disappear. Yeah, anytime you walk past the supplies, I believe it triggers a chance for you to hear the footsteps. They're in the cargo hold. Oh, hi, mission. Talk to you here in a second. I need to get to the cargo hold. Don't mind me, I just got lost easily, so we'll talk to our party members here in a bit, progress their storylines. Uh, I know, I know, how could I so easily get lost? Here we go. And here. Hey, what are you doing here? I, I, calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not sure I understand you. All right, so this is Sasha. You remember back at the Dantooine port, they said that a farmer had lost his daughter in a Mandalorian raid? Well, she was kidnapped and meant to be kept as a servant. She later escaped and uh, found her way onto my ship somehow. So, yeah, there's that. We'll get to her in a second. First, let's talk to Juhani. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before in the grove. It was wrong of me. You thought that the dark side had consumed you. It is nothing. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes and in my own. Do not worry, Johnny. I forgive you. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, even though I tried to take your life. I can only hope that, in our time journeying together, I will succeed. Yay, journal entry. How may I be... Alright, uh, let's talk. What is it you... How did you become a Jedi? How I came to be a Jedi? I am sure you would not find it very interesting. Oh yes, please continue. Well, it goes back a number of years. Back on my homeworld, we did not see Jedi very often, especially where I live. Where did you live? Behind Endor space. A pit of a world, to be Sorry sure. Sorry for all the noises. Where Jedi Adjusting. Rarely fled, but we had heard of them. Well, everyone had, so that is not to be unexpected. Champions of truth, defenders of justice, heroes of the Republic. Right. It was very easy for a child to be enthralled by their image, their mystique. Maybe I was one of those children. Did you meet a Jedi? Yes. Yes, I did. When I saw a Jedi for the first time, they lived up to everything my imagination had created them to be. I was awed. Maybe a little enamored. Enamored? They were quite striking, especially the tales of their leader. From that moment on, I knew that I would have to try to become a Jedi, to lift myself out of the rut I had been living in for years, and to make a real difference as the Jedi would. <laughs> the foolish delusions of a child, but this child made it happen. Yes, as you soon did. as I was able, I left my world and went in search of them. I found them and was accepted. I had been living my dream on Dantooine for several years before you came, although perhaps I was not entirely ready for it, or not completely suited to the task. Eh. 
Otherwise, I would not have fallen. But thanks to you, I have been redeemed. Perhaps I may yet live to see that dream of mine come true. Come, there is much we should do. Let us not waste time talking. Action is what is needed. Okay. Anything Tell else? What? Are you doing all right? So, yeah, Juhani, you're carrying a lot of guilt for something you were manipulated into, in my opinion. So, you're good. I, I, I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. Why? What is wrong? I have been thinking about myself, about Gotra, and about my fall to the dark side. This I keep again. thinking that it was my anger that drove me that far, that nearly damned me. I look inside myself now and I can still see it. I still feel it. You know, I don't think I care very much. That's just me. If the tank cannot be removed, maybe you shouldn't be... Wow! So many mean options. Ah, maybe you just need more time. More time would do me good. Time to distance myself from this anger. I think that is why the council agreed to send me with you. They think, perhaps, that in your company, I will be able to free myself from it. Okay, if I see you begin to slip back, I will intervene. Great, other than apathy. <sighs> wow, they just don't give me any great dialogue options here. I cannot afford to look after you all the time, Juhani. I do not come here begging for scraps from you. I will... How may I be of... Wondering if I could talk? What is it? Nothing for of now, course. perhaps later. All right, yeah, they didn't really give me any great dialogue options there. He's not going to... Zalbar's not going to have anything until uh, Kashik. And I think Mission's dialogue only gets updated after we get to Tatooine, so... Hey there. Do you want to talk about your brother? Don't tell me you believe Lena's lies. Griff might be working as a miner on Tatooine, but the rest of her story is Bantha Poodoo. Uh -huh. You can't trust someone like her. At least Griff's free of her clutches. I'd like to go speak to the Zerka Corp rep on Tatooine if we have time. Maybe I can arrange to see my brother again. We'll find him. I just hope he's not in any kind of trouble when we do. Nah, I'm sure he'll be. Spoiler alert, he is. Alright, so... Got that. Let's uh, see if we can progress Karth and Bastila's storylines. How can I help? Something you wanted to ask me? I do. How did you? Well, your face is all scrunched up like a Kinrath pup. A, a Kinrath pup? It <laughs> most certainly is not. I am a Jedi, remember? <laughs> I have far too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. My thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings Don't mind me just getting a drink. I mean, whatever I feel... I mean, whatever I think about oh, you... Ho, ho, ho. You're so cute when you're embarrassed. You have feelings for me? I... That is you... Why must you be so impossibly <laughs> infuriating? You know very well what I am really talking about. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences. For you, and for everyone around you. <laughs> Blink once for dark side, twice for light. What do you think I should do? I don't think there's much you can do. If things were different, I would recommend several years of training under one of the Jedi Masters. But I fear that won't be possible. Thankfully, you've exhibited a degree of compassion and self-control up to this point. I sincerely hope you can maintain these traits in the future. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. Uh -huh. It's everything we are fighting against. Uh -huh. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. <laughs> sure. Um, may I ask why you're getting so upset? I'm sorry if I come across as harsh, but I am concerned for you, for our mission, and for myself as well. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. But I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. I believe you truly mean what you say, for now. 
Sometimes it is not so easy to keep such promises. Your power could be a gift or a curse. Hmm. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I'll appreciate any help you could offer. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. For now, we should return to our mission. How any can I other help? dialogue? Nah, just. Can all, I suggest? All anyone ever tells you about the stowaway is like, oh, no, sorry, don't yes, know nothing. What's on your mind? He has yeah. nothing new. All right. Well, let's just go do Yavin Station, and we'll talk to Sasha after we're done. Because that's a big, long thing. And plus, I feel like you guys could use some action. You've been tuning in this long. You guys probably want a little bit of uh, combat. All right. Porto's repeating blaster. Upgrade. Do all this. Don't mind me just making sure all this stuff and the upgrades are moved around. All right, let's take Salbar and Juhani because she needs to level up. I might swap out for T3 or. Oh, it looks like they both need to level up. Level up skills. Uh, awareness, treat injury. Repair. Master to weapon fighting. Accept. Uh, awareness. Repair. Treat injury. Accept. Juhani, you've got quite a few level ups. Skills. Awareness. Treat injury. Feats. Alright, you're basically a blank slate. Which is good as far as I'm concerned. So let's make you a lightsaber weapon specialist. Powers. She's got force aura, plus two bonus to defenses, force speed, energy resistance. Why does everyone have effect mind? Stun. She's got slow, which is a dark side power, so we probably won't progress that one. So let's... Add that. Oh, let's change her script over to Jedi Droid Support. Attributes. So she's got... See, she won't really need strength. So we'll up her charisma. Skills. Same as always. Powers. Yet another power. Uh, let's go ahead and give her at least base level cure. Because you can never have too much curing. Skills. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I know, such thrilling gameplay. Realistically, this is like 90% of what you end up doing in Dungeons & Dragons is just maintaining your character. Okay. Powers. Let's give her a bump up in force speed. Alright, this should be her last level up. Boop. 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 Alright. Basically, she's going to play a lot like I my character is. Let's give her advanced lightsaber throw. Let's go ahead and give her the stealth field generator, because she has actually one rank in stealth. So. Salbar, my man. Alright, um, I think that's good for now. Salbar's my main melee guy. Oh, yeah, that's right. He can now wield both upgradable Viber Blades. Yeah. He's a freaking... He does more damage with... Okay, we should swap these. Right, missions Viber Blade. Where's the prototype? There we go. Yeah, he's a freaking monster. Look at him. <laughs> uh, 
I should steal damage reduction stuff off of Bastila and give sure. it to him. Alright, access panel. Here we go. I believe we're going to find a Rodian under attack by raiders as we come through here. Eh? What is that? What do you want? I recognize your ship. Davix, isn't it? Which one are you? You new or something? Uh, yeah. I'm new. Very new. Well, you don't sound like a Trandoshan. And you're not one of Davix. Who are you? What do you want? I'm trying to save the galaxy from the Sith. Eh? Sith? There haven't been Sith here in 50 years, not since the last war. Don't see why they'd start making a habit of it now. Still, all my business with the Sith is old news. Politics ain't my affair, so as long as you got don't get all worked up, I guess we can I can let you in. It would be nice to have someone to talk to for a change. Trandoshans and smugglers aren't exactly <laughs> stunning conversationalists. Oceans and smugglers, what are you talking about? They come here every now or once in a while. That's how I keep you in keep in the loop, you know? Transocean lizard speak is kind of hard to follow, and they have a limited imagination. Smugglers aren't much better. Look, this is getting kind of awkward through the door. If you just hold on for a minute, I'll open this damn thing up, and we can talk more face to face. Except to fiddle with the damn door lock. It keeps jamming. Wow, this guy curses a lot. Hey man, how's it going? Suvam Tan. I forget if there's anything to loot immediately around here. I don't think there is. But we can take a look around. There's space. I like space. Oh, that's right. He's got Gizka running around. All right, there's nothing on the other side of there. Juhani, you guys just block my path so often. It's annoying. All right, nothing on the other side of that. All right, so let's sell this guy all our junk. He look like I thought, too human. I don't see many of your kind out here at all anymore. Not since the war, at any rate. What brings you out here? I'm trying to defeat Darth. I'm seeking pieces for something called a star map. Something called a star. Starforge. Never heard of it. There's nothing in the system except the ruins of Exar Kun's war. Have you heard anything about the current war? Exar Kun being a Sith Lord from uh, a few years ago, you know, in the old canon. <sighs> you know, we'll learn more about him when we uh, recruit another party member later. Only what smugglers and Trandoshans have told me. A new Sith Lord has been risen up to replace the Death One. He's beating up the Republic pretty bad. They didn't seem too displeased with that prospect. Tell me about yourself. Yeah, I'm nobody, doing nothing. I've been in the system for over 50 years before this station was even built. I just sit around all day and tinker with this and that, trying to find, find out a few of my ideas. Do you have any gadgets you'd be willing to sell? Yeah, I've got a few things kicking around. Stuff that Strandoshans and smugglers have brought me to look at, and a few things I've been making from the parts. They aren't cheap, though. They pay a lot for what I can make. Anything I sell to you, I can't exactly sell to them. Now, can I? But if you're willing to pay, I got a few more advanced things you can look at. I'm always looking on more, so you can check back some other time if you don't have what, if I don't have what you want right now. Ugh. Here, have a look. All right, this is a really, really good shop, but it is also very, very expensive. Don't mind me just adjusting my seat. So yeah, yeah, you can already see the prices are insane. But we can also sell him the stuff we don't want. I mean, the clothing isn't worth anything, but at least it get it out of our inventory. He sell he buys your stuff at a premium too, so This is the best place to offload your old stuff. I should get the mods off that first if they aren't already. So, so military suit, stun baton, the Volker shock sticks. Yeah, I'm just going to offload all my gear. We're going to keep the lightsaber stuff. Make a bit of cash here. 
Because realistically, the upgradable and named items are what you want in this game. Yes, I'm sure. We're going to keep all the grenades. Light scan visor, skills awareness plus four, sonic nullifier, bring the energy shield. We'll keep the energy shields too. Yeah, okay, we'll sell Callow Nord's data pad. And we're going to sell all these mines. Keep the upgrades. We'll sell the droid light plating. <laughs> all right, now there is one item I do want to grab here. Ricky's got it. Hmm, might have it later. There's a real. Oh, oh, wait, here we go. Baragwin Droid Shield. Super efficient version of a normal energy shield has been modified to be able to run off the droid's power supply. So, this is an unlimited use uh, droid energy shield. It's four grand, but it is, I think, worth it. So we're going to go ahead. Well, maybe we won't buy it right right now, but. Uh, da, 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 da. Light exoskeleton. Is this upgradable? Yes. Okay. This exoskeleton, it's light armor, and it is phenomenal. Increases dexterity and strength. It's 10 grand, but it is really good armor. What is the Baragwan Shadow Armor, which is also upgradable? Increases stealth by four. I eventually want both of these armors. But you can see here that the prices are kind of kind of high. Decisions, decisions. We'll buy the light exoskeleton. From, oh. Let's buy this. Yes, yes, I'm aware. So we'll get that, and we'll get the cheaper Baragwin Shadow Armor. Don't worry, we can earn this money back later. Cool. All right. Well, that's all we can get from this guy for now. We will come back later, sell some stuff, make some more cash off of him. You saw how quickly my money went up just selling my stuff to him. He pays a premium for whatever you got to sell. So if you're playing this game for yourself, sell your junk here. It's worth it. To the Ebon Hawk. All right. Uh, I thought there was going to be combat. Sorry, folks. So this is going to be a lot of walking around this time. <sighs> I really feel bad when that happens. But yeah, maybe you're enjoying the little bits of dialogue. So, All right, let's do this. Can you tell me your name? I am Rannick, and you are... Sasha. Your name is Sasha, right? Where are you from, Sasha? Terrace? Uh, how did you get on the ship, Sasha? All right. Uh, Var Aka, ring a bell? No? Okay. Try to learn Sasha's. Many of the words you're speaking are Mandalorian. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Mandalorian. That's the that's your word for Mandalorian? So you know of them. Or, okay, Mandalorians are bad. I get it. I can understand Mandalorian, but your words are all mixed up. 
everything is safe. Is that it? Oh, I... Right, you can stay here for now. I don't know what I did. I hope I didn't ask her to leave. Okay, good. Sasha. Sasha. Sleep here. Lafsa means sleep. Kipuna. Bona na kichu. Hell, all this. Home. Lafsa means home. Kipuna. Bona na kichu. Stag. What is that? Dong abuk shami no no. Your stag means starship. Dong abuk shami no no. Uh, yes, figuring out someone's language, fun. Yes, one, nice. Dong abuk shami no no. I see you, or you see me. Dong abuk shami no no. Oh, you're hiding. No, Aswan is hide. I don't get all that, but sure. You're hiding in the starship. It's your home. I understand. You said this before. What is gone to said? Yeah, it's something about me, but what? Don't you like, huh? It means you like it. You like me. I get it. As you said that when I first found you. Kipuna, bona na kichu. As as hit, is that it? Kipuna, bona na kichu. Nope, I don't understand what you're getting Silimo. at. You said that when I first found Kipuna. you. Kipuna. Yes, very bad. Stop that. Kipuna. Nope, I don't understand Sil what you're getting. At. All right, say something else. Silimo. Silimo. Apparently, this is her. Kipuna. Hit. Okay, I've hit a wall here somehow. No hurt. I understand. No, I won't hurt you. Yum. What kind of word is that? It's part of the ship? A room? Food. It means food. Is that all one phrase? Kipuna, bona na kichu. Floor, and this means floor. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Could be anything. I'm not Kipuna sure I get it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be at this Kipuna, for a second here. Bona na kichu. I'm trying to understand you. You're talking down. I don't. Kipuna, bona. Could be anything. Kipuna. I don't get it. <sighs> Kipuna, bona. You just gotta keep going. Kipuna. Tong. I'm not speaking now. I mean, now, but it's not now, but before. You want some food now. You're hungry. Tabed, you? What does that mean? You want me to tell you a story? About what? Just tell me about it. I get it. All right, communicate with Saucer in her language. There's someone who will take you home. Uh, why are you hiding on my ship? You came to the ship before. You're very scared. Why? You left the Mandalorians. You hid here on the ship. You don't want to leave. The Evan Hawk is your home. Uh, you're scared of the Mandalorians? Yeah, they took you before and hurt you. The Mandalorian ship wasn't home. You didn't like it. You sleep here on the ship? She points to the advice officer and says she must have been sleeping in the ship's repair ducts. Uh, the Ebon Hawk is not your home, Sasha. At least not your first home. Tell me about your home before. Dantooine. There's someone who will take you home. 
Yes, you can go home. All right. This is another reason I wanted to come to uh, Yavin Station instead of going on to the next planet, because I knew we would have to head right back to Dantooine. On that note. Mission, here you go. Okay, that'll give her a bonus to stealth. And we'll swap all of the mods over to that. I know, there's been a lot of menus, and I am really sorry about that. Sheesh. Look at this thing, it's ridiculous. There. Mission is now wearing, like, the best stealth armor in the game. So let's go ahead and head back to Dantooine real quick. And we should not have to go back, except to go grab the stuff from that one Rodian uh, merchant. Menon, Dantooine. All right, bear with me. Whew. Lots of running around. How's everyone doing? You enjoying? You like the story, the dialogue? I imagine that's why most of you are here, is to get you know, wrapped up in the story. I mean, you hear Knights of the Old Republic, and if you didn't already know about it, you're like, okay, what is this? So maybe your curiosity is carrying you through. And for those who have played Knights of the Old Republic, you're probably, you know, hopefully having a good time watching me play through it. You know, maybe it's nostalgic for you. You don't have time to play it yourself, so you just have it playing in the background. And here come the Sith. I'm not a fan of this mini game, at least not on PC. The controls are a bit off. And I always worry about how it's going to be. It's always best to just start off firing. I am trying to lead my targets here. The sun's right in my face. There, I think that was all of them. Yay! We shot all the ships. I love how the Ebon Hawk is just basically just the Millennium Falcon, just slightly tweaked. And away we go. But yeah, like I said, I hope this is interesting for everybody. I know there's a lot of big lulls in the action and a lot of running around. But I hope you're enjoying the story and like the character stuff. I know I am. So. La la la. Is there a way to skip this? There is. Awesome. You've all seen the landing sequence. We don't need to go back through it. Again, hopefully this transition between cutscenes isn't messing up the recording too badly. I can never tell. Hey, Zellar. Uh, let's take T3 and I guess Candrus? Or no, let's take Mission so we can see how she looks in her new armor. Yes. Yes, this is the configuration I want. And T3 needs some leveling up. Hey, buddy. Attributes. Um, let's keep working on your intelligence. Let's 
let's hang on and put it in demolitions. <laughs> Computer use. Demolitions, repair, security. Feats. Gearhead. Do -do, do -do. And hold on to the skill point. Alright. Uh, droid motion, CCU, F demolitions, awareness, focus focus blast crystal, cancel. Yeah, I bought this, right? Here we go. Now he's got unlimited energy. Okay. Oh, and it's Detroit Light Plating Type 2. Medium Plating Type 1 is the, basically the same. Alright, I mean, work with what we got here. Yes? Alright, let's go talk to this dude. Lure Arca. Go ahead. Oh, that's right. I died and didn't end up talking to this dude. Basically, yeah, his young daughter. Oh, uh, yeah, this guy's died. Uh, this guy's girl named Sasha got kidnapped. Uh, there's a stowaway on my ship by the name of Sasha. She's on board. You can come see her if you like. Yes, I am. She speaks a smattering of Mandalorian, but I was able to figure it out. You have convinced me. All right, where is she? Certainly, I'll bring you to my ship. Let us go now. I am most anxious to see her. Though you have aged and sentient, I do believe you are the one. I see. I am here to return you to your father. See, Rannick was correct about your linguistic difficulties. I am positive your parents can assist you with that. Calm yourself, child. I will take you home. And we'll speak to her in her made-up half Mandalorian language to get her to calm down. Thank you for your assistance, Sentient. I am sure the girl's parents will be most appreciative of your efforts. Yay, light side points, XP, all that fun joke. All right. Now. Now. Finally. With, like, 20 minutes to spare for this session, we can go to Tatooine. As soon as I remember how to get to the cockpit. Tatooine. To Anchorhead. And skip. And this is just the hyperdrive sequence, so skip. I'm having a dream. I'm having a dream. There's Tatooine, looking pretty much the same as it always does. And every Star Wars property, it seems, every single one, we always come back to Tatooine. Alright, so, come on, come on. And we're talking to Bastel again. The Force has given us a vision. Like the one we shared on Dantooine. Did you see it? Of course. You must have. The Force is strong with us both. Tatooine is known for little but glowing sand. I find it surprising that there would be a star map somewhere in its desolate wastes. 
Looks like he was in some kind of cave. The star map would likely have to be within some kind of shelter to protect it against dust and sandstorms. I suspect there are many such caves and caverns hidden in the sands of the Dune Sea. The creatures of this world probably use them as their lairs. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. No doubt. All right, so let's uh, head out. I think I'll take Zalbar in mission with me. Just, you know. I suppose we could have asked Candors for more war stories. Yeah, we'll do it next session. Because you guys have had enough talking, I'm sure. Welcome to Anchorhead, potential customer. Zerka Corporation stands ready to serve. After some formalities, of course. First, your ship is not on our list of planned arrivals for today. There is a docking fee of 100 credits because of this. Mm, what do I get for my 100 credits? The immediate benefit is access to these very docking facilities. This is the only port in Anchorhead. Once you've paid, we will offer trade services as well. We're not unreasonable, we just want to cover expenses. Is there any way you could reconsider the fee? I assure you that the fee is non-negotiable. We have a very thin margin of profit on this world. The money I save, I'll spend in your stores. That does make sense. I suppose I could let it go this time. We need the business. This will cover any future landings as well. It's like a registration. Mm -hmm. So we can serve you better when you return. Now, as a customs officer, I can provide information on services. Is this visit business or pleasure? Mm. If I were looking for very specific things, who would I ask? That's not much information. Could you tell me more? I'm looking for old things, antiques, artifacts. You a digger? I've heard of ruins being found now and then, but they've always been stripped by sand people soon after. You're not going to get anywhere with them. I guess you could ask around, but I doubt you'll learn anything different. You could always ask a Jawa. It's hard to tell what they know. Mm. Alright. Uh, I'm going to get going. As you wish. If you need anything else, I'll be here. How are we doing, guys? Good. I actually really like that armor that Mission's wearing. I think it looks cool. Like I said, it's the best like stealth armor in the game. <sighs> this guy. Uh, hello, guys. Let's see. Here it is. Looks like a shipment's been delivered to your ship. That's requested. Uh, shipment? What are you talking about? This is Docking Bay 32, right? Yes, it is. And I've been told this. Uh, the Gizka are now your problem. I'm sorry, did you say Gizka? It says right here that you ordered a crate of Gizka to be delivered to Docking Bay 32. That's right here. Now, all I need is a thumbprint for the. Wait a second. Where did the dad head go? <sighs> Nothing's ever organized around here. Basically, this guy just offloaded a bunch of pests onto my ship, so now I got a bunch of frog lizard things. Just wandering about my boat. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go to Anchorhead, shall we? Ah. Smell that dusty desert air. Aronto. Oh, here. There's someone we can help. How much money do we have? Three thousand? Okay, just want to make sure because it costs a little bit of money to help her. Will you help me? I have nothing, nothing left. Hello, my name is Ranik. How can I help? Oh, thank you. I don't have anywhere else to turn. If you're down and out on Tatooine, you're on your own. My husband was a hunter, killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? I don't need a handout. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. What is a raid plate? How did it's you get it? It's a bone plate from the head of the desert raid. My husband was so proud when he found it. He had just started hunting, 
He said he felt sure the next hunt would bring in more, so we waited to sell this one. Then he never came back. Oh dear. I forgot what to do with this plate. Will you buy it? Perhaps I could buy it from you. You will? Oh, thank you so much. Please, I know it's worth at least 500 credits. I'll pay that and an extra 200. 700 credits. Oh, thank you. It is more than generous of you. I don't know what to say. I just don't. I am proud to call you my friend, Rannick, that you have a noble and generous spirit. Thank wow. you. Sometimes helping people feels pretty good, you know? For whatever it means, may the force be with you. You saved us. Yep, I don't mind helping people. I still need a hunting license to sell the thing. I'm not sure if you can only sell them here, or if I'd be able to take that to the oven station as well. What's in here? Yoink! Alright, I don't actually want to go into the t Oh, this is the Zerka office, not the tavern. Okay. Yes, we want to go into the Zerka office. You'll be hearing about this, you Zerka puppet. I'm not going to let this drop. You can't just murder a whole village. And don't tell me my concerns to take the concerns of the corporate kiosk. I know when I'm not wanted. What's going on there? Who are you? I'm done talking in this office. They are interested in listening to me. I doubt they'll even acknowledge I was here. Typical corporate evasion. That's what happens when they own everything. No accountability. They don't even bother bringing it up. Um, okay. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company? It's uh, about employment. I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. Hi, Gray Delisle. Or, no, sorry, your full name. Gray Delisle Griffin. Gray Griffin? I'm actually not sure what your preference is, ma'am. But no. Lovely voice actress. Got to meet her once. I believe I brought this up before. Uh, I'm looking for a miner named Griff. Griff? Uh, there's no Griff here. Never heard of him. No, I, I don't remember a single Griff on this... Are you certain of that? I would leave sooner if I knew. Oh, you mean that Twi'lek. Must have slipped my mind for a second. Yes, of course I remember Griff. We hired that Twi'lek some time ago. Not a good worker, according to his crew chief. Always complaining and faking injuries to get out of work. He entered false timesheets and slept through his shifts. We even suspected him of stealing Zerka Corporation supplies, although we could never prove it. Yeah, that sounds like him. We would have fired him, but we needed workers. It would have been better for him if he had been fired. Then the sand people wouldn't have gotten him. The sand people? He was lost in a sand people raid we suffered not too long ago. There were prisoners taken, but our rescue parties never found anyone alive. In the end, it just wasn't cost effective to keep searching. All miners sign a waiver absolving Zerka Corporation of liability in these circumstances. Of course they do. Did the sand people kill Griff or not? We didn't find his body, so we have to assume he was taken prisoner. Whether he's still alive, I couldn't say. That's all I can tell you. I shouldn't even have said this much. This is all privileged corporate information. I could lose my job. Is there some type of reward for saving him? As I said, all employees have signed waivers absolving Zerka Corporation of any financial liability if this occurs. It is the industry standard. I suppose you could apply for a special dispensation from the Zerka Corporation representative kiosk on Coruscant. Business hours only, please. Never mind, I'd like to ask you about something Very else. Very well. I'd like to ask you about hunting licenses. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. Why do I need a license anyway? We use them to ensure that only people judged fit by Zerka Corporation are allowed outside the city. We don't allow casual exploration because of legal concerns. Zerka Corporation takes no responsibility for loss of life on the dunes. It's just so we can keep track of people. No one leaves the city without a Zerka hunting license. Is there no way to get a license? Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to form a task for us. It's similar to hunting. The sand people are becoming a problem. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Bring me their gaffing sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus to the chieftains. Um. See, not a lot of options here, but I can just agree to do this now, defend myself if they attack me first, 
My ultimate goal is to get into their camp and talk to them to get them to stop. But in order to move forward, I have to get a hunting license. So, fine. I will agree to do this for you. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. I'm Here's sure you do. And a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Doom Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. Right, I guess I'll get to it then. Very good. Zerka Corporation looks forward to your future business. Alright, so we got a lead on where Griff is and where to get out into the city. Out of the city. Uh, this guy's the store. What do you have available for purchase? <laughs> Anything upgradable? This is a powered light battle armor. Mandalorian heavy pistol. Motion detection goggles. Awareness, demolitions, and security. Ooh. Get that for mission. As well as the sound and stealth unit. And this mesh underlay upgrade. Huh? I just need you to, to put on some things. You're gonna look silly, but. Her stealth check has got to be ridiculous now. What is it? Plus 14. <laughs> uh, wow. Yep, if I ever decide to do stealth, she's, she's the one to do it. Sure. Okay. So we got the hunting license. Don't you believe a little word of what Zorka Corporation just said in there? There's always a peaceful solution to conflict. They're just lazy. Alright. We're going to have words about this here in a second. But What do you mean? What are you talking about? Is this about Zorka Corporation wanting the Sand People chieftain killed? So you are the killer they hired. It's going to walk in there and wipe them out? I'd expect no less from fools. Sand People aren't animals. I've watched them. They are intelligent. There must be a way to peacefully stop the attacks. I know it. But no one will try, of course. You can't even leave the city without Zerka approval, and they want the Sand People dead. Intelligent or not, the Sand People have killed people. Yes, they have, but Zerka Corporation deployed numerous giant sand crawlers to tear up the desert with ion shovels and whatever else. What would you have done? To the Sand People, it must seem like an invasion. There were no negotiations for territory or resources. I don't think the killing has been justified, but as a con conservationist, I'm hoping that someone has at least tried to talk this out. <sighs> has anyone tried talking to them? Basically, no one speaks their language. <sighs> no, why don't you do something? Why should I? Of course, it's always falling on someone else to fix the problem. Where would you get robes to match theirs? Alright, I'll look into it. Yeah, so this guy's like, it's like, well, you know, all things even taken into consideration, they are still just flat out killing people instead of attempting communication. Anytime communication is attempted, they are also violent. So, I don't really see what options we're left here with. Random Jawa, I believe there's a dark Jedi attack. Yeah, let's get some combat in this episode, shall we? Yep, dark Jedi attack. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Speed, Force Valor, Energy Resistance, and Attack. Apparently, 
<laughs> my party has been disabled. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. There we go. <laughs> And once again. <sighs> Maybe I should have put people with better saving throws in here. There we go. Let's get him, Zalbar. <laughs> Good lord. You see how much damage... Zalbar was saying, oh, game froze here for a second. Gave me a mild heart attack. <sighs> Whew. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that to me, game. Oh, I'm several hours in. Did a lot of dialogue. Don't do that to me. You know? Loot the remains. Let's, let's get to all this stuff. Sith assassin pistol. Well, got some more lightsabers. So that's good. I think I might switch to a, a short lightsaber for my offhand just so I'm a bit more accurate. Swoop registration. We will definitely be back here because the swoop races are the best way to earn money. Uh, let's uh, get to right outside Yukalaka's shop. That's the guy who sells the droids that was mentioned earlier. Whew. No, really, I was, I was like, no, when the game locked up. <laughs> this is uh, the cantina. We will be coming back here later with some different party members. Right now, I just want to finish picking up side quests. Let's go talk to this Jawa over here to pick up a side quest for saving his tribe. Because his tribe has been taken captive by sand people. Can you be clear? I'm having trouble understanding you. It's not my fault if you can't understand me. Uh, what is it you want? I'm the leader of a tribe. It's ghosts, giants made of sand, and the sand people. So is you, what do you want me to do? Sorry, I'm not reading his sentence structure because it gives me a headache. Uh, tell me about where you people are. Maybe I'll help. I will check it out when I leave the city. All right, so got a bunch of Jawas to rescue. Sorry, yeah, no, his sentence structure gives me a headache. We're going to go into Yukalaka's shop here, and we will end it at the entrance to his shop. All right. Let's do a quick save. Overwrite the save game. Yes. I don't like sand. We'll shorten it. I hate sand. <laughs> Star Wars references. All right. So thank you everyone for joining me for this leg of the journey. I know this one was probably kind of boring. It was a lot of running around, a lot of talking, but you know, I threw in a fight there at the end. Gave me a mild heart attack because the game locked up immediately afterward, and I was like, no, don't crash. <laughs> but no, thank you everyone for joining me again. I hope you had a good time. And I hope you're having a good day. I'll catch you next time.